I, I, um, I was particularly pleased with our, our players. Um, obviously, we're a great defensive team. I thought, I thought for the most part, uh, we, we played pretty well defensively. We had some lapses in terms of assignments. Obviously, Sugar running free for most of the first half. We fixed that in the second half. But on offense, just keeping it simple. You know, take what they were giving us. Don't overthink it. And if you're open, shoot it. I'm particularly happy for post players that worked really, really hard to, to you know, take and make threes. And, and you know, when you do that, it's it's, it's hard to it's hard to key in on, on uh, Simone and Maya when all of a sudden someone else is standing there wide open and burying shots. So I thought the balance of what we did was was really, really good. Effectively, a pair of out of timeout calls. Hi. Uh, a, a pair of out of timeout calls uh, yeah. when it was 74 67 to get Maya the ball for three yeah. and then so inside. Yeah. You're thinking about that and, and just to sort of take me through what it, what it, yeah. the luxury of having both of them back to back yeah, like that. I mean, that's, you know, Maya's arguably uh, the best player in the world and Sil's arguably the best center in the world. So when you have that, it's, it's uh, you know, it's important to, you know, when it's Maya's turn, that Maya do her thing and then, you know, be cognizant that, you know, you have Sil. And, and I just thought we did that. I thought we had great awareness. Um, on that play, you know, uh, she had Allen as her matchup, and, and, you know, we had got the play in. And, and they wanted to run this, the, the, the play the second time, and we didn't. And I think we had an empty possession that next one, and then we got back to uh, the play that you talked about. But still, um, Brunson just made a great pass. She made a great pass. Um, you know, again, took what the defense was giving us. And, and if you fight high on the sill, she's just tremendous at pinning for a lot of them. And obviously, she catches everything that's in her area. And is that second nature now in terms of this team, uh, having played together now really a year and a half? It, yeah. it, everyone find each other. And even the two possessions after that were two other starters of yours yeah. to figure yeah. out and ice the game. I, and I, that's, you know, we've just been together. They just know each other well. It doesn't always end in a, in a W, but, you know, they have confidence that they know what each other's doing. And, and uh, we were very engaged today. Um, I thought that you know we, we knew how New York felt about the game, what what they were looking to do, and and, and uh, that we responded uh, to that and, and had great energy from start to finish. What did you do defensively against Tina? She had six points, didn't score first bucket until late in the third. Uh, we have a, a great defender, Rebecca Brunson, and and um, you know she plays our schemes really well. And I thought when she wasn't out there, the next player that came in uh, was pretty good. I got to see the video to understand how good we were or we weren't. Um, but I thought that she wasn't getting touches on the block. Uh, and then so she was coming away from the basket where she got more shots. And, and you know, it's kind of the lesser of the evil. She's still a great player from there. Um, but when you got her taking their, you know, the second and third option type of shots, um, you know, she just had trouble making those. Since this game is more so the homecoming game than the other two stops when you come here, how many, how many do you got here tonight? Uh, we had uh, 12 people here. I had a college teammate, Sheila Wall, yeah. uh, came into town, and a former sports information director, Ben, uh, and then uh, uh, niece and nephew and brother and whatnot. So it was nice, really nice. What kind of impact does Natasha Howard play for you guys off the bench? Yeah, um, you know, and I feel bad because, uh, you know, she didn't do anything wrong. You know, in the second half, she could have played again. I just, you know, I mean, Planet played well when she was out there, and it's just hard to get that fourth post player in there. Uh, but Tasha just plays with energy. You know, she, she sprints everywhere. Uh, she's very, very active, and, and uh, she's good around the rim. She's improved her three ball, and, and uh, you know, it's a player that we enjoy having out there. Seems like this is a very unique skill set, sort of a different dynamic. You, know, yeah. you guys, you guys sort of look for the best shot, and she's just, you know, with that energy. She she goes she's on, she's on go all the time, yep. all the time, and and she sprints to her screens, and and she, when she's out there, our offense flows pretty well because she's creating openings and outnumbered situations with great screens, great angle on the screens. She gets out of the screen fast. Um, and, uh, and she's a good passer. She starts on any other team, right? I don't know. I don't I don't want you guys to start saying that kind of stuff because then she'll want to be on another team. <laughs> <laughs> Not one time keep her. But you like to deploy her as a health defender. Is that just her constant energy? That, yeah, yeah, she's really, really good defensively at showing her health, um, her activity in her health, her recognition of what's happening. She's got great instincts, like great instincts. Um, I was really happy with her today. She was fighting in there. You know, she gives up quite a few LBs. You know, she's really slight of build. And, um, it's a hard team to rebound against. And she was rebounding in traffic, and <coughs> competing for uh, for the ball. And that's something that we really have asked her to improve upon is, is dig out those hard ones. Mm -hmm. You know, not just get a finger on it. You know, just to really dig them out. And, and uh, this was a, a good game for her to, to have that test. Just in terms of rebounding, uh, Rebecca was five short of that milestone. <laughs> Ended up with four. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so it was right there. But, yeah. you know, uh, rebounding percentage-wise, she's fourth in the history of the league. Wow. And uh, yeah. Sill is third. Okay. And I just wonder how many 
many do you think they sort of take from each other by virtue of the fact that they're out well, there on the same court all the time? Yeah, you know, they used to crash into each other their, their first time, like in 2015, mm -hmm. uh, and they've kind of they've worked that out, you know, because they, they would kind of crash and nobody would get the rebound. Right. Um, but I would say at this point, I don't, you know, because I think depending on the matchup, like today Brunson was down low a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, but but Sills around the basket the most, and so I understand why she's she's third and, and she's much younger uh, than than uh, Rebecca, but. Rebecca's one of the all-time greatest, and that's why you see her in the, I mean, the top five in anything in our league is, is, a, is quite a feat. And then her shooting a three, is yeah. that is that part of just a team-wide effort to yes. just... Yes, okay. and, and if you're around, um, we spend a lot of time, and, and so it's really easy to be happy for Rebecca, who, um, you know, in game one against Chicago, she launches a three from the corner, hits the side of the back of She hasn't stopped hearing about that. Uh, and, and I took her out shortly after, not because of the three ball, just it was time, and uh, she wanted a chance to redeem herself, and so uh, she got that chance today. Yeah. It's sort of an old story, but I wanted to get your comment on it in case that you didn't get a chance to go with Gene Oriyama said, he said that not as many women want to coach, that's why there are not many women in college. And yeah. I wanted your comment on that. Uh, I think Gino's a great coach, uh, and I think he means well. But, but uh, I think as his, as his daughter rightly pointed out, he was pretty off base in that comment. Um, you know, again, I, I, think he, I think that he means well, uh, for the most part. He understands. He understands the challenges we face in the women's game, because he lives it. Um, and he hears it all the time. Um, but in that particular case, um, there's a lot of women that want to coach. Uh, there's a lot of women that want to be head coaches. And we face nothing different than what's in the real world in terms of the, the business world of what women have to go through uh, to be considered qualified for a job. And, and sometimes when you're a guy, that gets lost on you, and I think that's what we have to do.